topic so what we'll do today is we will do a quick uh, revision on what we have studied in addition okay so we'll see what all we have studied in addition till the last class now what is addition i told you what is addition last time right addition is nothing but it is combining of two or more numbers to get a sum or a total okay so it is combining of two numbers together to get a sum or a total right so when we want to add how many things we have or how many toys we have and so many things or we have to find how many uh, chocolates we have all together so we will add the numbers together okay so this is called addition now in in addition chapter we saw how to do addition of two digit numbers right so what you will do first you will write the numbers in column form okay and write down their place values put the ones place to the right then what we'll do first we'll add the ones place first we always start adding from ones place so we add the ones place first write the answer in ones place then we add the tens place then when you add the tens place and get the answer write that number in the tens place so here 20 plus 27 0 plus 7 is how much it is 7 and 2 plus 2 is 4 so 47 okay so this is addition of two digit numbers see here also 21 plus 13 so we have two tens and one ones and here in 13 we have one tens and three ones so you add the ones first so one one plus three ones give you four ones and two tens plus one ten gives you three tens so that is 34 okay then regrouping how do you regroup changing from tens to ones okay so we studied how to do regrouping by changing tens to ones so whenever you add ones numbers sometimes what happens is you get an answer which is greater than nine then what you do whenever you get an answer which is greater than nine you regroup those ones to tens okay we change ones to tens now 6 plus 4 is there here correct so when you do 6 plus 4 you'll get 10 so now what we'll do 10 ones we have so that 10 ones will make it as 1 10 and 0 1 so it becomes 1 10 and 0 1 so that answer is 10 then 7 plus 8 so how you do you do 7 plus 8 you'll get 15 that is 15 ones then you regroup the 15 ones as 1 10 and five ones so the one ten you'll write in tens place and five ones you'll write in ones place okay so you'll get 15 now that was regrouping then we saw how to make tens and ones okay so for every 10 ones we make a 10 okay for every 10 ones we make a 10 so here we saw 1 10 plus 15 ones now here this 15 ones will regroup it as 1 10 and five ones so the one ten which is already given plus one ten which we regrouped will make two tens plus five ones which is twenty five two tens plus five ones will be twenty five same way here now we have one ten and how many ones we have we have twelve ones now this twelve ones will from the twelve ones will take ten ones and make a ten so that becomes uh the previous already present one ten plus the 110 which we made now becomes two tens and ones which are remaining are two ones so two tens plus two ones is 22 okay the same way will we did various other examples also correct then we saw how to do addition of three digit numbers without regrouping so what is the first step here first you line up the ones tens and hundreds in columns vertically one below the other like this and then we start adding from the ones first we add the ones okay then we write the answer in the ones column then we add the tens we add the tens and write the answer in the tens column and lastly we add the hundreds and the answer you get you'll write it in the hundreds column so this is how you do addition of three digit numbers without regrouping then we have addition of four digit numbers with regrouping okay so addition of four digit numbers with regrouping first is regrouping ones and tens 
so first as usual what you do is first arrange the numbers vertically okay and then we start first step will be add the ones so when you add the ones what happens you get a number which is greater than 9 so what you will do will regroup it as 10s and 1s so 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 so now that 14 will regroup as 1 10 and 4 ones and the 1 10 will carry it over to the tens column okay then we add the tens okay now adding the tens we add the 10 which is carried over and plus the digits which are already there okay so 1 plus 3 plus 2 we get 6 and then we move on to the hundreds place in the hundreds place we have 4 plus 3 so that is 700 so the answer is 764 so this is how you do regrouping of ones and tens then regrouping ones tens and hundreds so first as usual we arrange the numbers vertically then we add the ones once you add the ones you will see that you are you need to regroup so you regroup carry over to the tens place now in tens place you add all the digits in the tens place and plus the carried over number okay when you add these you see that again the number which you get sometimes is greater than 9 so now what we'll do we'll regroup uh, these tens as hundreds and tens okay so the tens which we have we'll write it in tens place and the hundreds which we regrouped will carry it over to the hundreds place all right in hundreds place we'll add the carried over hundred and the remaining digits and then write the answer okay so this is how you do regrouping of ones and tens so for example here we have 378 plus 259 so 7 8 plus 9 is 17 so that 17 we regroup as 110 and 7 ones so 7 ones we write and carry over 1 tens then tens place we add 1 plus 7 8 and 8 plus 5 13 okay we write down 3 tens and carry over now this 13 tens we have so 13 tens we regroup as 100 and three tens the three tens we write in tens place and carry over the one hundreds to hundreds place in hundreds place i have one plus three four and four plus two six so the answer you get here is six hundred and thirty seven okay and then we saw adding of three numbers okay so you we saw addition of two two numbers so far now we'll see addition of three numbers so when you're adding three numbers all the rules are same First you write them in the columns vertically, then you start adding from ones. You add all the ones first, okay, and then if there's any regrouping, regroup it, carry over to the tens place, then all the add the all the tens place numbers. Then again, if you anything to carry over, carry over it to hundreds place, add them and write the answer. Okay, so this is how you do addition of three numbers. Then we saw what are addition stories addition stories are nothing but they are number stories where they tell you some kind of a story regarding some numbers and you find have you have to find the total number or you have to add the given numbers and find a total okay and we saw various example of addition stories also and we saw the questions which are given in your textbook also so this was basically what we studied in the chapter addition now what we'll do is we'll solve a few uh, problems okay or a few activity questions on addition all right okay so fill in the boxes by adding the following so first 46 plus 32 how much is 6 plus 2 when you add first we add the ones so 6 plus 2 is 8 okay then when we are adding tens 4 plus 3 how much is 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 is 7 so the answer is 78 then 25 plus 41 so first we'll add the ones how, what is there in ones place 5 and 1 so 5 plus 1 is 6 and then in tens place we have 2 plus 4 how much is 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 is also 6 so 6 and 6 66 then 36 plus 43 now in one's place we have 6 and 3 correct so 6 plus 3 is how much it is 9 and when we go on to 10's place 3 plus 4 is 7 so 79 okay then 56 plus 22 so first we add the 1's so 6 plus 2 is how much it is 8 and 5 plus 2 is how much it is 7 so 78 and then even 
73 plus 14. So how much is 3 plus 4? 3 plus 4 will be 7. And tens place, 7 plus 1 will be 8. So your answer is 87. Okay, so the answer is 87. Alright. Now we'll move on to the next part. Fill in the boxes by adding again. Okay. So 6 plus 8. How much is 6 plus 8? 6 plus 8 is 14. So we write 4 here and carry over 1 to the tens place. Now in tens place we have 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1 which we carried over which is 8. So the answer is 84. Okay. Then next one. 7 plus 9. How much is 7 plus 9? 7 plus 9 will be 16. So we write 6 here and carry over 1 to the tens place. So when you carry over 1 to tens place, you will have 1 plus 2, 3 and 3 plus 4. 7. So, 76 is the answer here. Then, third one, 82 plus 9. So, 2 plus 9 is 11. So, we write 1 and carry over 1. And 8 plus 1 is 9. So, that is 91. Okay, then 15 plus 49. So, how much is 5 plus 9? 5 plus 9 is 14. So, we write 4 and carry over 1 to 10th place. Okay, so 1 plus 1, 2 and 2 plus 4, 6, 64. Okay, and then 9 plus 9 is how much? 9 plus 9, you will get 18. So, we write 8, carry over 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So, that is 58. Okay, answer is 58. Then 38 plus 45. How much is 8 plus 5? 8 plus 5 will be 3. And then we carry over 1 to 10th place. 3 plus 1, 4. And 4 plus 4, 8. So answer is 83 here. Then 55 plus 27. So 5 plus 7 is 12. So 2 and carry over 1. Then 5 plus 1, 6. And 6 plus 2, 8. 82. Okay. Then 27 plus 58. So first we'll add the 1s. Which is 7 plus 8. How much is 7 plus 8? It will be 15. So 5 and then carry over 1. Then 10th place we have 1 plus 2, 3 and 3 plus 5, 8. So 85 is the answer here. Then next one, 29 plus 24. So 9 plus 4 will be 13. So we write down 3 and carry over 1 to 10th place. Okay, 1 plus 2, 3 and 3 plus 2, 5. So 53. Then 19 plus 36. So 6 plus 9 is 15. So we write 5 and carry over 1. In 10th place we have 1 plus 1, 2 and 2 plus 3, 5. So that is 55. Okay, so those are all the problems on adding. Then Then uh, let's do these addition problems. Okay, that is ad adding three digit, uh, three numbers, not three digit number, three numbers. Okay, here what we'll do? Now first we start with ones. So how much is nine plus eight? First we'll do nine plus eight. So nine plus eight is seventeen, and seventeen plus seven is twenty four. So write down four here, and then carry over two to tens place. Now two plus two is four. Four plus three will be seven. Seven plus two will be 9. So, write down 9 here. Okay. And 3 plus 4 here is 7. So, 794. And then, 37 plus 2, 26 plus 5, 1, 9. So, first adding the 1's place. 7 plus 6 is 13. So, write down 3. Uh, sorry. 13. Then, 13 plus 9 is 22. So, we write down 2 and carry over 2. So, 2 plus 3, 5. Then, 5 plus 2, 7. And 7 plus 1 is 8. Okay. And then, last is 2 plus 5, 7. So, 7, 82. And then, we have 8 plus 6 plus 9. How much is that? 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 9 is 23. So, write down 3 and carry over 2 to 10th place. So, 10th place, we have 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. And 7 plus 2, 9. Okay, and in hundreds place, I have 2 plus 5, which is 7. So, the answer is 793. Okay, and then question number D. 9 plus 7. 9 plus 7 is how much? It will be 16. And 16 plus 
9 will be 25. So 5 carry over 2. 2 tenths place. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. And 9 plus 0 is 9. Okay. And last is 3 plus 1. 4. So 495. And then E1. 3 plus 7. How much is 3 plus 7? It is 10. And 10 plus 8 is 18. So write down 8 and carry over 1 to 10th place. And then 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. And 11 plus 2 is 13. So 3 and carry over 1 again. Now in 100th place we have 1 plus 1, 2 and 2 plus 3, 5. So the answer is 538. Okay, then F1. 6 plus 8 plus 7. So how much is 6 plus 8? It is 14. And 14 plus 7 is 21. So write down 1 and carry over 2. Now 2 plus 5, 7. 7 plus 8 will be 15. And 15 plus 9 will be 24. So 4 and then carry over 2 to the next place. So 2 plus 3, 5. And 5 plus 1, 6. So 641. Okay. Then next one. 4 plus 7. How much is 4 plus 7? It is 11. 11 plus 5 is 16. So we will write down 6 and carry over 1 to the next place. So 1 plus 5 is 6. Then 6 plus 8 will do which is 14. And 14 plus 6 will be 20. So write down 0. Carry over 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. And 6 plus 2 8. Okay. And then last one. 8 plus 7. 15 and 15 plus 4 19 so write down 9 carry over 1 then 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 8 is 10 and 10 plus 8 is 18 so 8 carry over 1 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 1 4 and 4 plus 3 7 so 789 so this is how you do addition of three numbers okay now we will see some addition stories so they are telling here there are 18 boys and 17 girls in class 2. So how many children are there in the class altogether? So number of boys is 18 and the number of girls is 17. So 18 plus 17. So when you do 18 plus 17, how much you will get? You will get 35. So the total number of students in the class is 35. Then second, Titi has 22 toys. She gets 15 more toys on her birthday. How many toys does she have altogether? So Titi already has 22 toys. For her birthday, she gets 15 toys more. So they are asking how many toys does she have altogether. So what you will do? You will do 22 plus 15. So when you do 22 plus 15, what you will get? You will get 37. Okay, then there are 27 tomatoes in a plant. There are 9 tomatoes in another plant. How many were there all together? So 27 plus 9 you will do. So what you will get? You will get 36. There were 36 plant uh, tomatoes all together. Okay, then there are 36 trees on one side of a road and 25 trees on another side of a road. How many trees are there all together? You will do 36 plus 20 plus 5 so when you do that you will get your answer as 61 so 61 trees all together okay and then there are 25 passengers in a bus and 7 passengers in another bus how many passengers are there all together so in one bus they are telling that 24 25 passengers and in another there are 7 so to find how many passengers are there in both the buses together you will add 25 plus 7. So, when you add 25 plus 7, you will get 32. Okay, you will get 32. Then, last question for today. One box has 24 hats. The other has 18 hats. How many are there all together? So, when you do 24 plus 18, so you will get 32. So, there are 42. 42 hats all together in the box. Okay, so all our answers are right. Okay, so this was basically what we have done in addition.